Hey, how you doing? This is Brian Farr from Sightholder Records. Uh, I've been kind of poking around with Murmur and Ableton and just trying to figure out a cool way to control Ableton with my iPod Touch. So uh, I don't claim to be an expert, but I figured I would share with you what I had come across. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is create a network um, to directly network your iPod Touch, your iPhone directly to your computer. Um, obviously, I'm working on a Mac, so I can't tell you how to do it on PC. But what you're going to do is you're going to go create network. In this example, I've named it iPod. Go ahead and hit OK. Once you've got the network created, you're going to go ahead and go into your preferences on the iPhone or the iPod Touch, uh, excuse me, settings, and then you'll go and click on Wi-Fi and then go ahead and select, uh, select the network that you just created. In my case, it happens to be iPod. All right, so we've got the iPod connected. Now it's time to take a look at uh, take a look at the app Murmur, which you can download from the iTunes App Store for free. So one thing I haven't mentioned yet is actually what you do after you've connected your iPod to your ad hoc, net, ad hoc network that you've created. Uh, when you go into Murmur, you're actually going to want to look in the Murmur preferences. You're going to want to set up the server, the OSC server, and essentially what you need to do is, uh, if where you see on the image under OSC server, you hit browse, and you're going to want to enter in. Uh, you're going to want to add a server manually. And the number that you put in is the number that you're going to find if you go into network preferences click on advanced under your airport setting go to TCP IP and right here for your IPv4 address this is what you're gonna put in for uh, this is the server that you're gonna add on the OSC heading so you'll go ahead and enter that and that's how OSC on your iPod is gonna communicate with your with your network Let's open this up. This is obviously just the application uh, for the Mac. It doesn't really look like this on the iPod, but I'll show you some pictures of it as we go through this. Essentially what you do though is you create any type of interface that you want, very similar to uh, the Jazz Mutant Lemur. You essentially create a bunch of sliders, buttons, toggle buttons, push buttons, uh, tactile zones for like XY control, text, anything like that. And you use this application to actually build uh, what they call the widget and then upload it to the iPad. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to launch Murmur on my iPod. I'm sorry you can't see it. But you will notice that once I launch it, the IP address for the iPod itself actually shows up so we can connect. And essentially what you'll do is you'll go ahead and build your widget for an example, let's just put a couple of sliders on here. So we'll make a, a grid 9x6. We're going to put uh, let's just make a couple of sliders. So let's we want to make it span six columns. We'll make one row span. We'll begin the slider in column one, row row one, style one. We're going to call it slider one. Build the widget. So there you go shows up now what we can do is we can add another slider row two call it slider two and let's just say we wanted to add a couple of small push buttons above it so what we'll do is we will not going to span any columns or rows we're going to begin at one two three four five six seven let's say we're going to begin at column eight row one now the widget style two as you see over here is a smaller push button so we'll just we're going to call it, I don't know, let's call it FX1. Build it. Switch to row 2. Call it FX2. Build the widget. All right, so basically we're already connected. So what you'll do is you'll go and you'll launch Murmur on the, on the iPod. 
you'll go ahead and select new at the bottom and what you'll see is a blank bank you'll go ahead and hit upload interface and it, what you see here is exactly what shows up on your iPod touch or on your iPhone so basically once you have it up here you can go ahead and save it but since I've already created something um, we're going to skip it but this is just to give you an idea of how you can begin the interface uh, and we'll go on from there Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that the iPod is communicating with Murmur. So just for demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and connect again. We're going to want to view the messages drawer. And basically now we're going to want to set this to listen on the particular port that we've set in preferences. So when I move sliders now, obviously you can see the value, the OSC value is changing as I toggle push buttons or if I move sliders. So that's a good sign, we know it's working.